You got something to say, or do you always look like that? No, nope, always look like this. Always looking sexy, fresh as hell. We, we heard that there were some people that have been missing, Lieutenant Boyd, and you were in charge of finding them? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. <sighs> Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Uh, if you... What else could you tell me about Anders? <laughs> what does it look like? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Uh, it probably wasn't him, because if I remember correctly, he did not get out quietly. He got out thrashing and screaming and blowing up. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. Okay, just give us a lead and we'll follow up on this for you. Word around the bases, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. Alright, we'll rifle through his gear. Oh, this is his. Easy enough to find. Ah, I found his journal. I pulled the log from the East Pub Station computer for the last week. Looking back over the past several weeks, the times are roughly consistent. Oh, this is boring. This is really boring. Yeah, well, not all diaries have juicy details. This is stupid. It's just a bunch of times for when water goes to the west side cisterns. Lame. Why is he writing it down? I don't know. I don't care. You can tell this is the Gamora because there are naked ladies outside. They're not really naked, though. Eh, they're half naked. Dancing. They're scantily clad. So, you said we have to wear disguises. Hey. No one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Alright, here you go. You'll get these back on your way out. Okay. Alright See, then. they didn't recognize me. Yes, you threw them right off your trail. Mike, you gotta take your vest off. No, I think as long as I remove my pants, they won't know who I am. My pants are the most memorable thing about me. Is it just following the same logic as, as me? Yeah, it's a little okay. drafty in here, but I think my disguise is working. I don't think it's you I'm supposed to talk. Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. Yes, yes, we've already talked to you, we, Joanna. We already talked to you. I was able to drink myself. It was very memorable. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Wait, can I still drink myself? <laughs> yes, I can! <laughs> Drinking myself! Hey there, sugar. I'm Dazzle. What can I do for you? Or to you? I'm here strictly on business, Miss Dazzle. We're looking for somebody named White. We have no idea what he looks like. Yeah, he used to come around here a lot. Haven't seen him in a while, though. Why? Well, he's gone missing and I'm attempting to track him down. I'm a private investigator. You may be able to tell on my hard hat. He used to go on and on about water and the farms east of the Strip. He was talking to one of the farmers named Bascom. Had some problem with NCR. Boring as hell, but it was his money and his time. So I let him talk about whatever. Are you telling me that Corporal White came here to talk to a stripper about political intrigue? Well, he was probably doing other things. It wasn't just that. How much did he pay you for a good time? A hundred caps, no kissing, no rough stuff. No rough stuff? Man, that's not worth even 20 caps. How about we split this medex and relax for a while? Why would I want to do drugs with a stripper? I can do drugs by myself, and then I don't have to share. <laughs> Suit yourself. The offer's always open if you feel like changing your mind. Yeah, always open, just like mm -hmm. your legs. Mm -hmm. That was rude. <laughs> don't walk away. Let me show you the time of your life. I'm walking away. <laughs> try to stop me. <laughs> no, oh, she's not playing along. No, this seriously, try and stop me. I love it when women tackle me. <laughs> <laughs> She is just not having any of this. She's like, my husband brought me here. <laughs> yeah. For as much as this place is hyped up to be, there really is not a whole lot of action in here. Last time we talked to a stripper here, she got killed. <laughs> That's a good point. You're a model citizen. Thank you. <laughs> it's not weird, I'm naked. <laughs> so is everyone else around here. <laughs> That's a valid point. <laughs> Mike, put some clothes back on. We don't have to wear disguises anymore. No, it's so free. No, now. Mike, get back here! Penciless away! Mike, get back! I just had an idea. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm. <laughs> Why'd you 
shoot her! No, <laughs> it was Rusty! Why did you shoot her? It wasn't me! You were Please. gonna- Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, she was gonna go hostile eventually! Oh my god, Mike! <laughs> Howdy. Something I can help you with? Yeah, I'm looking for, uh, Corporal White. He said he was looking into the water shortage, but I haven't heard back from him. Got the feeling he wasn't here in any official way. White was talking to me about computer stuff and water delivery schedules through the pipes, but I'm just a farmer. Tech stuff is beyond me. The last person I saw him talking to was Lieutenant Romanowski. Romanowski's around here somewhere. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. No, you've been very helpful. You're just a simple dirt farmer. You don't know no better. Adios. I'm not a recruitment officer. You want to join the army? I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. <laughs> Looking to re-enlist, are we? Where'd that come from? <laughs> no, I'm not looking to re-enlist. I'm looking for Corporal White. I already work for the NCR as an independent contractor. Corporal White is currently solving the mystery of the great water shortage. Tried to convince me he had proof even. I didn't buy any of it. He went over to Westside to talk to Tom Anderson. Anderson's a follower of the apocalypse. Helps the people on Westside grow crops or something. Interesting. You ever heard anything more from him? Haven't seen him. Serves him right if the NCR declares a Maywall. Ah, uh, do you have something against him? He's a glory hound. Always looking for a way to get promoted to Ranger. Thinks he's too good to be a regular trooper like the rest of us. That damn Corporal White always trying to better himself and serve his country. Wow, he's so awful. What a monster. They should put him to the stake. Carry on. Alright, well, let's go to West Side. Whoa. Watch out! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on? So what is this? Is somebody attacking West Side? Looks like we're in defense of West Side right now. We're defending West Side! Wait, where's my shotgun? It's just one feed, is that it? Is that what the commotion is about? I think there were multiples. Were being the operative word. Oh god, no, they're busting to the okay, choke point. Okay, all <laughs> right, everyone. You did kind of blow them up with dynamite. I also got the fiends, so... You realize that's an area weapon. And I blew up the fiends that were in the area. Mike. Yes. <sighs> okay, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, they literally did not care that you blew up the militia because the, that militia were just a bunch of rentals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you Tom Anderson? Hey, baby. What say you and me get acquainted? No, thank you. How much does it cost to hire somebody like you? It's worth every cat, baby. I'll do things to you you didn't even think was possible Ooh. and leave you feeling like everything's right in the world. That's not a numerical amount! I need this for my taxes. <laughs> Do you give out receipts? <laughs> hey, mister, looking to relax? Looks like you carry a lot of tension in your shoulders. Well, you're right, I do carry a lot of tension in my thighs. shoulders. And upper thighs. Whoa! Back rubs are a specialty of his. If you ask nicely, maybe he'll show you sometime. I hear you were a slave of Caesar's Legion. <laughs> Let me bring up a horrible part of your past. <laughs> yeah. Actually, just out of sheer curiosity, how much for your services? Pittance, sugar. And I'll leave you without a care in the world. Ooh, Again, still not a number amount. 200 <laughs> caps? That's a deal at any price! <laughs> hey there. Maud, you're... I... You know what? No. <laughs> Morning. Uh, your last name wouldn't happen to be Anderson, would it? Tom Anderson. Can I help you? I heard Corporal White came here to investigate a water shortage. Also, how much? <laughs> no one by that name has come here, I'm afraid. You must have heard wrong. You can ask around if you like. They'll all tell you the same thing. I don't like this Anderson fellow. Hmm, seems a little sketchy. Why don't we step outside and discuss this further, Ma- Rusty, that's very rude. You didn't even ask for permission. Yeah, Rusty, you really didn't. Consent kinda... is important. Oh, gee, wow! <laughs> yes. I never thought I would've heard you say that! But it's true. And silence is consent, so silence is important. Silence is not consent, Mike! <laughs> silence is the opposite of consent. If you see something terrible happening and you don't intervene or say anything, you are consenting for that bad thing to happen. Silence is consent. I think this Brahmin is who I'm supposed to talk to. Is it really, though? Oh, hello. Uh, do you know anything about a Corporal White? Corporal White? I don't know where he... Uh, I mean, I never heard of him. Uh, I gotta go. Are you lying, Hector? <laughs> I said I don't know anything! Leave me alone! Well, that wasn't suspicious in the slightest. Hmm... Look at all the big, saggy nipples. <laughs> it's like I'm looking at your mother. 
Hey! Hey! I don't make jokes about your mom. <laughs> How do you know that my mom actually watches this occasionally? Oh, so. does she? <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Zack's mom. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, six? <laughs> don't worry, I'm not following you. <laughs> so blatant about it. This is so dumb. Where is he getting that water? Where could it possibly be? Oh, where, oh, where does Hector get water? Oh, where does it come from? He disappeared around this corner. I bet he went in this door. Ha! Ha! I wasn't doing anything. You look like you're gathering water. And Westside is supposed to have a water supply. Why not? Why isn't Westside allowed to have a water supply? I don't know. Politics, probably. Why do I care? Uh, it, it's for the co-ops. Mr. Anderson told me to do it. He said it wasn't stealing if it's for the good of everybody. Oh, they're stealing NCR water. That sounds reasonable, but what about Corporal White? Because I don't really care. It's water or whatever. He caught me and made me tell on Mr. Anderson. I don't know what happened after that. But when I asked, Mr. Anderson said not to worry. But Mr. Anderson had this look on his face. It's the look grown-ups get when they've done something bad. Looks like Hector's pointing the finger back at Anderson. I knew I didn't like that Anderson fella. And not just because he overcharged for sex. I didn't... <laughs> I knew I didn't like that Anderson fella. Me nor my five friends didn't like him. Which five friends are those? The five friends in my shotgun! Is, oh, because you have five in the... Because I, I didn't realize it could hold five. That was Yeah, because it holds five shells. Uh, so, Anderson, me and my... Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five... Uh, six... Seven... Eight. Me and my eight friends want to have a conversation with you! Do you want me to include the amount of bullets in my gun, too, right oh, now? Oh, that's gonna be way too much math. I don't think we have time for that. I mean, he'll uh, probably just run away... <laughs> <laughs> there you are! There you are! Anderson! Tag. Me and my... Okay, how many... How many is it? Quick, just do the quick math before he runs away. No, how no. many? Uh, 35. Me what? and my 78 friends want to talk to you! Good to see you again. Hector told me everything, Anderson. I suppose there's no point in denying it any longer. I killed Corporal White to protect Westside's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. Oh, he didn't tell us that. We don't have money to pay for the water, so I rigged a pump station to divert water to the local cisterns from time to time. Have you ever done this quest before? No, I don't think I've ever done this one. Well, now you have a very difficult moral dilemma. This guy was stealing water from the NCR because they were strictly rationing it. While I don't agree with wanton murder, despite constantly committing it, I'd rather not turn you in, but somebody else might come looking for White. If the NCR thinks White was killed by, say, members from the Scorpions gang, it may be enough for them to close the case. So now he's asking us to lie on his behalf. How many people in the NCR do you think lie on a regular basis? None. They're all truthful. Yes, that was the correct answer, Mike. Congratulations. <laughs> You're now a congressman. <laughs> Consider it done. You stay free and Westside keeps getting its water. But if one more person dies out here, I'm coming for you, Anderson. Thank you. What happened was regrettable. But I'll make sure it never happens again. Let's go back to Camp McCarran and lie about what happened to Corporal White. All right. You got something to say or do you always look like that? We've already been over this. I always look like an idiot. <laughs> You're back. I have an update on Corporal White. Don't tell me. He married the hooker. If I tell the truth, then the NCR is going to go shut down all the water. Probably kill Anderson, and the followers of the Apocalypse will not like me. If I lie, they're going to keep getting water, the followers of the Apocalypse will like me, and the NCR will never be the wiser. Except when they start running out of water to feed their crops. The NCR sharecropper farms are doomed anyway. They're doing their best. They are doing their best, but sometimes... Your best just isn't good enough. Not when people like you are sabotaging them. <laughs> a gang called the Scorpions murdered him. A man named Anderson witnessed it. That's why you don't go wandering off looking for some call girl on the strip without telling somebody first. Anderson. Is that the followers of the apocalypse, Anderson? Maybe. He wants you to increase water flow to West Side. He said it'd be lost otherwise. Man, that guy's got water on the brain. Knows more about water pipes than any man should. If he says we're losing water, I think the colonel would listen to that. 
I'll talk to him about it. Sir? I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. Oh, hey, Vincent. How's it going out here? Yeah. So, uh, just found out that that Anderson guy's actually a serial killer. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, crops aren't doing so well. I'm thinking it might be something in the water. 